Okay, going to be reviewing another Shepherd Neen beer. Um, this is one of the beers that was sent down to me by uh, Murray up there at Shepherd Neen. And it's uh, one that I haven't tried before. It's called 19th Hole and it comes in at the standard 4% ABV for most Shepherd Neen beers. Okay, let's see what um, the description says on the back. Okay, it says uh, the brewing masters at Shepherd Neem have teed up a wedge of the choicest green hops and chipped in with a double bogey of the finest pale ale malts to produce a golden eagle of a beer. Gloriously refreshing, you will not feel rough or under par. No free drops with this brew. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, Stuart Main, the head brewer. He does um, a lot of the descriptions on the back with uh, references to whatever the beer is, whatever theme the beer is which is uh, always clever. So let's give this a go. Got a nice uh, 1698 cap there. Nice colour on that. Get that Shepherd Neen uh, yeasty smell straight away on this one. Okay, as you can see it's a nice sort of Almost like a copper, a clear copper colour. Um, quite a nice bit of carbonation, sort of um, trilling up the glass, as you can see. Nice white head. Looking decent enough. Let's um, get a nose on it. Yeah, getting that, um, that's a typical Shepherd Ning smell, but it's also, um, it smells like cherries or something like that. It's like a cherry or a raspberry or something like that, um, sort of intermingled amongst the, amongst that sort of um, traditional smell. Getting a nice bit of breadiness as well. It smells decent enough. Um, I'm not expecting it to be out of this world, but I'm expecting it to be a nice refreshing beer. So, cheers guys. Mm, that's a nice one. Not too much of an aftertaste. It's quite mellow that one compared to the other Shepherd names. Uh, very, very easy to drink, very pleasant. Um, you're getting um, almost like a, a sour, a slightly sour brown bread um, taste initially. And it's um, it's got this almost like a red fruit. Um, amongst it. Not anything, um, nothing like the late red which is probably one of my favourite Shepherd Neen beers besides Tapping the Admiral. <laughs> but um, not, not like a late red. Um, it's just slight, it's just a subtle sort of flavour. Sometimes amongst with Shepherd Neen beers you get this, you get the atypical sort of flavour like I keep mentioning but then there's something different in each one that they um, put in and sometimes it can be so subtle you really have to sort of dig for it. With that one, I'm getting a little bit of cherry or a little bit of strawberry. That sort of um, lovely sort of mild, mild sour yeast and yeastiness. Very crisp finish, not a lot of bitterness. Um, a nice, easy drinking beer. Um, yeah, it's a nice beer. It's not too bad. I'll give that. I'll give that a six and a half. That's a nice beer. A good first quencher, uh, and there you go. These beers are very cheap. You can buy them in most of the sort of budget supermarkets here in the UK, and they're only about one pound twenty a bottle. And they're good beers, you know. And that's why I like Shepherd Neen because they're affordable, and they give people on tighter budgets a bit of a range to go through. So, and that's always good because it helps promote real well, and it helps promote craft beer, and. Um, People who start drinking these, then will then start thinking, oh, what's you know what what's that one going to taste like? They they'll start looking away from the crap on the shelves like the lagers, and maybe go for a Brewdog or a Sierra Nevada or something like that. And then you know put add a little bit more money, and then um, 
and then it's limitless, you know. You just go off on a tangent then, you know, you start exploring different websites, different countries, and it's great. So anyway, there you have it. Six and a half out of ten, nice session beer, I'm going to enjoy this. And that's what it's all about. Cheers!